and the microsoft excel formula that we'll be looking at today is the date diff excel made easy so today we'll be looking at the microsoft excel function date diff so the date diff function actually calculates the number of days or months or years between two dates most of the people in the hr department actually find this particular function very very useful so the date diff function can actually be used to calculate a whole lot of things ranging from the age of a staff to the years of service of that particular staff so we'll be looking at several examples to better understand the date diff function so on a lighter note before now i used to see it as the dated if how wonderful <laughs> all right now if you have some set of database of staff and you want to find their age you simply use the date diff function so what you just need to do is to hit equal to on your keyboard and type the date diff if you notice it doesn't come out complete like the other functions so you have to type it complete date diff and once you've typed it you open your bracket i notice that it's until you open your bracket that it comes up so to some extent this function is a little bit uh, deprecated all right so newer versions of microsoft excel does not recognize it that much that's why you tend to find one or two bugs once in a while when you are working with uh, other scenarios the next thing you have to do is to find the difference between two dates you select the first date which is the earlier date then hit your comma then the next thing you do is to hit the present date or today's date so the present date can actually be called using a function today in microsoft excel then you open your bracket and close it up then hit your comma then you now tell excel that you actually want to return the year result then you close up your bracket and you hit enter so what this is invariably trying to tell you is that what now look at our formula bar the date of birth of this particular staff is what 31 years is that okay so you can also go ahead to find the date of employment of this particular staff using the date diff function also so you hit equal to date diff all right then open up your bracket then you select the earliest date comma then the present date so we assume that the present date is today so use the today function then open and close up your bracket comma then you now tell excel okay i want to display my answer for the year then close it up i need to tell you that this particular staff has been in the organization for 12 years is that not awesome now you notice that this date format is different from this date format but whichever format that is being used still works is all right now i want us to just take note of something before we go ahead to show you something if we still perform the same calculation date diff open up your bracket then select this hit your comma then today open and close hit your comma then yay but you'll be in speech marks remember excel does not just understand strings as it is so it just shows what this guy is 37 years old and this is that about using the date diff function in microsoft excel is that not very easy so hope you got value in this video in this video just like uh, as a recap we're able to look at the date diff excel function and we're able to see how we could use the date if to find the difference between two dates 
if you got value in this video go ahead to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button turn on your notification bell icon so that you'll be the first to get notified when we release videos like this on your screen is a video that shows you how to use microsoft excel keyboard shortcut keys go ahead to watch it right away excel made easy